All right, one of the things that keeps people from creating content consistently is that they think they need to do more research. And maybe once you start writing an article or planning a video, at that point, you do some research. And the problem is you realize as you do research that there's always more research to do, <laughs> right? This is a real issue for a lot of us who care about the quality of information that we put out. Now, I want to make a, a, a guess. I really believe this is true, which is that you already know enough to be helpful for your audience that if you, that you can write a new article once a week for an entire year and not do a minute more of research. And I think it is actually really good practice to not do any research before you create content because the stories and the lessons that are already within your life experience needs to be mined and shared so that it can benefit your audience rather than always depending on external information to validate what you're saying. Now, of course, the difference is if you are in a technical field or a medical field, you know, there needs to be some, obviously you need to, you know, confirm that what you're saying is scientifically or technically accurate. So let me explain what I see are two primary modes of research that relates to content production. So the one type is exploratory. And explore, in, in exploratory research, you are simply, you know, you're reading a book, you're enjoying surfing the web and reading articles, watching videos, doing some research without a particular article in mind. You are doing some additional course taking or learning. Exploratory research probably happens all the time for you without you even really trying because you're fascinated by your field. So you naturally like to read things in your field. So that's exploratory research. It probably happens organically and on its own. The second type of research is confirmatory research. And this is where you are confirming a definition of a word, or you are clarifying that you actually do understand a concept that you're writing about. Uh, maybe you are finding a few facts and figures that will add to your article or to your video or to your podcast episode. In fact, I had to do confirmatory research to make sure I understand the word confirmatory and knew how to spell it you know, correctly. So that's one example, right? So when you are actually doing the content production, you might need to do a little bit of confirmatory research, but it's really important to limit how much confirmatory research you do. In fact, I think it's mostly optional. You know, rarely do you get someone commenting and saying, well, you got that one fact or that one definition wrong. I mean, it might happen every now and then, but if you generally are sharing a helpful lesson or an inspiring idea, if it's a minor fact that's not exactly right or a word that's not exactly correct, it's not going to make the article bad or the video bad. In fact, a lot of, well, as we know, a lot of viral news articles have a lot of wrong facts. Now, I'm not saying that you should contribute to that. But what I'm saying is that people, readers, viewers are extraordinarily forgiving, especially if you've built an audience who trusts you. Now, you might say, George, are you telling us that we should be sharing inaccurate information? No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that 
it would be a good idea to separate out your research time from your writing time usually. Like I said, your exploratory research, you probably do it anyway, but you might want to say, okay, I'm gonna be writing about this topic. I'm gonna to be recording a video or a podcast episode next week about this. I'm going to spend a focused 30 to 60 minutes only doing some more exploratory and a bit of confirmatory research on that before I, if, before I then spend that focused time writing or making a video. So in other words, if you can separate out your research and content production time, your research time versus your writing time or recording time, it is much more helpful. Now, I, when I say content production, I, you can do your writing and video making in the same session, work session, but try not to put so much research in there because then you start going down the, the rabbit hole of you know, forever, for forever additional information that you realize you need to, to discover. So exploratory research, confirmatory research, and then content production. Now, there's actually a third type of research I want to tell you about, which I think is the most valuable type, which is primary research or original research. This is where you do some experiments in your field. Maybe you try out a, a technique that you've been, that you put together yourself based on other techniques. You've created some modality and you, you've, you're now reporting on what it's like to try that technique out in your own life or based on what you've tried with friends or clients. That's primary research and that's very valuable because that's what people will want to link to, to say, wow, look, you know, George uh, did this experimentation and you know, this is what he discovered. Uh, so that's one type of original, original research is your own experimentations. And then uh, you know, with, in your own life and in clients' lives. And the other type of original or, or primary research is uh, taking surveys or polls. Um, and you know, you ask a bunch of people uh, to vote on something or to answer some things, and then you combine that together into an article or uh, or a video. So, original or primary research is really the most valuable, and of course, it has to be done separately than writing your article or making your video. So, the bottom line is that it, you know, I guess maybe the, the the parting words of encouragement I have for you is that. It's, imp it's very important for you to be creating content on a consistent basis if you want to maintain or strengthen your creativity and your muscles of communication. If you don't create consistently, those capacities within you start to wither away and it gets harder to get back into it. So you know, at least once a week, at least once a week, you should be creating something new, writing an article, making a video, recording a podcast episode, something like that. Now, that's why you should make research optional compared to creating content. Like I said, even if you did not not another minute of research, you have enough within you, your own life, your own original research, really, you have enough within you to create many dozens of articles and videos. And while you are creating without having to research, while you're doing that consistently, you're probably on the side doing exploratory or original research anyway, because of your own passion and interest in your topic. And then those will eventually be integrated into additional content that you create. So please go forth and create content. Don't worry about accuracy. I know it sounds terrible when I say it, but what I mean is don't be afraid of the judgment of others who are going to confirm every fact and figure you cite. Now, if you're citing facts and figures, those should be quite quick to pull up on Google, confirmatory research, that's what I mean. But you, know, you don't have to, I think you know what I mean. You, 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 you need to make it lighter in terms of the free content you're putting out there. Now, this is different than paid courses. Like if, you, if people are buying a course from you, okay, you need to do more exploratory, original or confirmatory research to make sure that 
you are selling people things that if they're applying it to their life, especially to their health, right? Or, or to their finances, right? There are certain places that have higher uh, ramifications if, if, if you're not accurate. So those kinds of things you need to obviously do more, especially when it's paid. But when it's free content, that's my bottom line encouragement for you is you need to be consistent at it. Don't worry about research. You're already doing research on the side. Do confirmatory research in a very short period of time, 15 minutes for each article you write, just confirming a fact or a figure or a date or a, a definition or something like that. And that's it. Create consistently no matter what. All right, so I hope this is encouraging and helpful. And there's my dog buddy in the video, those of you who are watching it. And um, yeah, enjoy your, create, your creativity and your consistency because that is what will really make you a better and better communicator over time. It'll give you more ideas of what you actually want to research in an exploratory way or do some original research by creating you bring clarity to your understanding of your field and you build an audience and you build your business. All right. I wish you well. My name is George Cow, Authentic Business Coach. I love talking about how do we build a business that is based on our, our life's experiences so that we can create a fulfilling business that is genuinely helpful to others as well. And I look forward to seeing you in another video or episode. Take care.